Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm coming on today to work on the uh, middle page spread of my adorable little lace book I'm creating using both the beautiful digitals from Ula La Vintage Treasures and all of the beautiful laces and um, other embellishments from Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy. And I will, of course, have a link below to uh, both of their Etsy shops. Be sure you go and check them out. They both have beautiful, beautiful things, which you're going to see me playing with right now. So on the last video, I created um, this page. And I will link that up in the iCards if you want to go see um, how I did that. And now this one I'm going to work on the middle and I'm hoping that I can get um, a lot done. I'm going to use this uh, polka dot tool uh, fabric that I have in my stash. And I'm going to put it kind of towards the seam, towards the middle pages. And I'm going to bend it up. I'm going to pleat it up. Not, not nice and straight because everything I do is shabby. And that's my excuse for everything being crooked. But it's a good excuse and it works. I'm actually wondering if I could get away with pleating this up in the middle. Excuse all the doors. My husband just came in from plowing and he's a little no no noisy. And now here comes my dog who was outside too. And now he's inside. Hey, Rue. How's it going? So I'm thinking I'm going to pleat this up in the middle instead of on the edges like I was thinking. Hi. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Were you helping daddy? All right. Let mommy get back to, to this. Okay, so I think that's what I'll do. But I'm not going to put glue in the middle. I'll just put glue uh, on the sides. That's what I'm thinking. I'm just going to start out with just little dots until I figure out what I'm doing so I'm not making a big glue mess. So let me get those down there. And then we'll make a pleat. Right there. Let's see. I really should have my finger protectors on. I don't even know if I can find them. Let's see. Well, here's one. So, I mean, okay. <laughs> One's better than none. All right. And then I'll put the next one. I really have a hard time uploading um, anything, but especially if it's over 15 minutes, I just, so I'm trying to keep these at about the 15 minute mark. So I'm trying to have everything that I need on the table, ready to go so that we can do these together. But then, you know, some, t some things end up taking longer than you think they will. <laughs> At least for me. Yeah, but I am liking this in the middle. All right. Keep a keep a going. Yeah, I just want to make sure when it closes, no, it'll look, it'll look very nice. Very, very nice. Blue strings everywhere. That is, that just comes along with the play. All right. So I lightly tacked everything. That way, if I change my mind, I can take it back off without ruining anything. Because <laughs> that happens. That definitely does happen. All right. And then one more. And there we go. Alright, so we're going to cut that off. Nice! And I actually love how that is in the middle. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Very nice. So where are my images? I'm going to use this beautiful angel. And this beautiful angel, both from the uh, Divine Moments um, kit, which I will have linked below. They're so cute. All right, so I know I want to do that, but I also want a lace underneath 
but which lace do I want to use? I think maybe I want to use this beautiful lace here. I just want to have some scallops coming over the edge. I just love that. And this is such a pretty lace. I think I'm going to use this one. Let's see. Jake, Jake. Excuse me for just a second. No, kitty. cat has um, an attraction to adhesive and tape. So I had a box sitting on the floor with tape hanging off of it and Jake was trying to eat it. So I had to go tend to that. Sorry about that. He's something, I tell you. All right, yeah, I like that. So I'm just going to glue that down. My spatula. Not my finger. All right, I'm going to get this one. So when I'm doing like um, the middle page spread, I kind of like the sides to mirror one another, at least with the base. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing um, to this side with this pretty lace. But I honestly can't tell which side is up, so I guess it doesn't matter. Let's do that. Right there. Very nice. And then, I mean, I will embellish it different in the end, but I like kind of the base to be the same. I just think that's really pretty. Yeah, isn't that nice? Okay. Now, it looks like she's ready to go down there. I just need to figure out what I am gonna put if I want to put anything else underneath of the image, and I don't think I do. Make sure I have both of these images. Oops. So I'll go ahead and peel the backing off. I just printed these on um, fabric printer sheets. You can get on Amazon. Um, sometimes it's a challenge to get the backing off, but I love using these sheets. It just makes everything so easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that one right there and I'm just going to glue the edges down because I don't like to have globs of glue in the middle of my image. So let me start with this end. There we go. And then I will get the sides. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Um, sometimes when I'm doing um, lace books or doily books, I will back my image with some felt, uh, but I did not do that this time because my pages are extra padded because I used um, fusible fleece um, in my book and it just made everything extra, <laughs> which is fine. I mean, I like extra fluffy, but I didn't feel like if I put uh, felt behind the images, I thought things would just be too too poofy so I'm just gluing the fabric straight down on top of the uh, layers of lace and it's it looks pretty good yeah all right so let's get this one glued down He's so sweet. This kit is so adorable, Doreen. Completely adorable. Let me get my sides down. Try not to burn myself. Now we get this. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. All right. Now, uh, this one's a little crooked. But that's <laughs> everything I put down is usually crooked, so it is what it is. I am going to put some edging around the image. I didn't know if I wanted to use this, maybe. I was going to try it out. I got this from Angel Dream Crafts. It's really cute. Right? You know, I don't know if I want to put it around the whole image, but on the side, isn't that pretty right there? Oh, 
Oh, I really like that. Can I get away with just two of the scallops? I think I can. That is cute. All right, I'm not gonna glue that down yet. I'm just gonna set it there and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other image before I commit with glue. I mean, that's cute, but what am I gonna put around the rest of it? That's the thing I am unsure. I have this adorable trim that I got in uh, my uh, last design team package. I do like that it has these pearls on it already. To the other end. But, um, this flat edging though around the edge is not my favorite, so I think I'm gonna cut it off. Looks like we can do that. I like that much better. It's much cuter without that straight edge. And I can do something like that. And this is where I can try to fix it where <laughs> it'll look you won't see how crooked it is. Do I want to do that? Or I could do a Chinese braid, but this is kind of a really big Chinese braid and this is kind of a mini book, so I don't know if I'm feeling that. Um, on the other page, I used this, which is also cute, but let me see if I can just do this all the way. Let me see. Oops, my phone. Is ringing but it, it's of course a sales call <laughs> of course it is all right so if I do this let's just see what it looks like sometimes you have to play with it before you can figure out what you want to do at least I know I do so let's see Okay, if I do this three ways around, is that going to, oh, it's just cute, right? I love this little tiny trim. It's adorable. I can do that. I think, I think I like it. Let's see what it looks like with some around the bottom piece here. Two, three, four. What do you guys think? Oh, uh, that's really sweet. Okay, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let me, I think I have an extra on this one. I could get rid of one. Yeah. Okay. And I wanna glue this down first. Just like that. Let's not glue my hair in it. Straw is real. My hairs and everything. Okay. This is going to be the sweetest little lace book, and I am just enjoying myself so much putting it together. Oh, so sweet. All right, and I'm going to glue the long edge down first because I want to try to make it look like it's straight when it isn't. <laughs> I think that's what we want to do. Yeah, that's adorable. This little trim is so sweet. Okay, and now these each have four, so it doesn't matter. Get them glued on. That needs a little more. Some, some. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> Cuteness. All right. I do love it. Oh my gosh, we're at 15 minutes already. Ugh. 
All right. Oop, the silk pearl's coming off. Let me glue that pearl down. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then um, I will show you what it looks like after I finish the final embellishing. So I hope you're liking it so far. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think and give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to check out all the links below. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.